What up, it's your girl Mina. In this video, we are going to be going over how to make a bold eye look work on brown skin. I know that oftentimes it can feel like when you have deeper dark skin, you have to play it safe with neutral eye colors. And don't get me wrong, there's a time and a place for all of that. But if you're like me, you like to push the limits. You don't want anyone holding you back. You wanna do your face how you wanna do it, when you wanna do it, and you know, for whatever reason you wanna do it, okay? In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to pull off a bold eye I look with a nude lip, of course, because that balance is very important. So first I'm gonna do the foundation and the concealer and all of that. I'm going to leave that in, but speed it up so you can see, because I know that you'll wanna see that. And then we're gonna get into the eye look. All right, now we're getting somewhere, okay? So now we're gonna do the eyes. And this portion of the video is sponsored by Revlon. So Revlon, thank you so much for partnering with me. This is in collaboration with their So Fierce Wear Responsibly campaign. And I'm excited to show you a uh, very fierce, very dangerous, very awesome, bold eyeshadow color that again, you can wear as a brown girl and you don't have to be afraid. Like who sets the rules? You do what you feel is good for you. You know that when I do my eyeshadow, I always like to use a transition color. This is a white base. You can use a white base or a black base. I decided to go with white just because why not? To transition, I'm gonna take a warm reddish brown color. I used an orangish red color first and now I'm actually taking my bronzer. So whatever color you use for your bronzer, you can certainly use that to put into your crease as well to really warm it up and bring the whole situation together. Now, when it comes to the eyeshadow, Revlon has launched four new eyeshadow palettes. We have four eyeshadow palettes to choose from. You know I like a blue and I've already done a look with this color, so I'm going to venture and use this royal blue color. It's gonna be bomb. Let's take a look at this blue. Isn't it just so stunning? Oh my gosh. This is the palette called Clap Back. Richly textured eyeshadow delivers creamy color with crystal shine. Ooh. So of course you can do the finger to really get that pigment on the eye. Wow. But because my nose is so long, doing the finger only takes me so far. Then I do have to use a brush. <laughs> so I'm gonna use a flat synthetic brush to apply this. Not an eyeshadow fluffy type brush because that's gonna fluff it on when really what I want is to pack on the color. So now that we have the blue eyeshadow down and see how like it's looking a little bit purple, I think that's actually pretty beautiful. I could do a purple in the crease, but I've done that often. I wanna try something new today, which is to just use my bronzer again, which mixed with this blue should make it look a little purple because the bronzer is like a reddish brown, okay? It's not gonna be a bright purple, but it should be, you know, something we want. Okay, so you see that it's a little purple, but it's definitely diffused. So it's still giving me a little brown but I'm okay with that right I'm trying to show you a simple way to use a pop of color with just your with just your bronzer you know just get a brush that's gonna really get right in here so that you're simply diffusing that area if you want to really bring back the color to the lid if you feel like part of it is off just take some more of your color look down so you don't get this on your face that's if you do your face first like me if you do eyes first and you're fine and then just boom I'm gonna leave it just like that I'm not gonna do too much to it. I think this is beautiful just by itself as a standalone. So let me do the other side. Now I'm gonna use this color in the palette, which looks like a silverish blue gray kind of a color. I'm putting that in my inner eye. You know I love an inner eye highlight. And I think this color will be so beautiful. So let's take a look. Like it just takes the whole look up a notch. This eye is basic. This eye is so fierce. I mean, come on. Like I just, I don't get it, you know? Bold can still be wearable and I'm giving you bold and wearable with this look. Now I wanna really open up the eyes a little bit more. So let me see. Yeah, let me take a little bit of this silver. The first color in this palette right here, I wanna take it on a synthetic brush and really put it right in the inner eye to really make it open up. Let's check a look. Yes, do you see a subtle, very subtle difference, but a difference nonetheless. <laughs> Now I'm gonna put some of the mascara on my bottom lashes and then we're gonna move on to the lip and then we're done. 
All right, we are all done with the look. What do you think? I want you to comment below and let me know if you see yourself wearing a bold, fierce look like this. I mean, I just want you to be encouraged. No matter what your skin tone is, how deep or how light, we should all be able to wear bright, bold looks. I love bold looks, as you already know. Also, thank you again to Revlon for sponsoring portion of this video. And as always, I'm glad that you are here, glad that you watched the video. Make sure you give it a thumbs up and also make sure you subscribe. Thanks for watching, bye.